Like, I, 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 I don't play catch, stop being in. We don't quit lies, we don't go through buys, we just keep it pushing like, I, 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 I. I. Why me and Gray till they gotta be great? <laughs> don't touch me, tell it straight to my face. Bad friends set me down and duck on my chair. Shampoo, fresh, get you out of my hair. Fresh photos with the bum lighting. New man on a Minnesota Viking. Trust her. Bum, bum, bum. Be bum, but I'm bum, bum. Hey, Juicy! Juicy, baby! Juicy, juice! Yo, you murdered that. I did murder it, thank you. <laughs> what? Well, you have messed up in me a little bit. You did good, and Juicy. And my phone's about to say, Lizzo. Oh! <laughs> Inspirational. Juzo, Juzo. Juzo. Yeah, you got that drip, Juice. Ricky don't make nothing no better. Hashtag <laughs> now you got them doing it. Oh my gosh, that was good. I don't know if you guys are listening to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. If you're not, I don't know why you're not. Because even if you're not in these continents of U.S. of A's, you can go to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show app in the app store and listen to us. And if you are listening, then you just heard Jizzo. Also known as Juicy. Just did Lizzo. No, it is Lizzo. So, I think we just added one more person to the flow and go <laughs> for Friday. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> yes, Juicy Juice. juice. Happy oh, Wednesday. God. It's hump day. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Gary's not in today. He's still out recovering from his surgery, which was really successful. Juicy, did you drop your lawsuit? I know one thing. Yes. I got served. I thank you. Get this shit dismissed. I got in house counsel. I got in house counsel. I'm going to drag her ass through all through these courts. You ain't going to be trying to pay no more court fees messing with me. Yeah, Brat's up in here. She got her headphones on right now, though. She's living her best life. So I'm going to let her be. So, good morning here from the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. It's Wednesday. It's my first week back. Four days in and I'm already tired. Already tired. The baby's good. Why you got all these snacks, vegan? I bought that for Jeff because he likes Who likes Swizzlers? They're like red vines. Swizzlers? Yeah, you uh uh, it's the difference between the suburbs and urban. Yeah. Red vines and Twizzlers. Yeah. I don't eat none of them. And this, that was left Question Which one do we like? Red vines. Red vines. Like niggas tried to make Twizzlers. <laughs> now, nah, red vines is the lick. <laughs> if that's what you're used to. But the only problem is that your poop be red if you eat the whole pack. Not with Twizzlers. I remember the Because it's time plastic, it don't come out. The what, red vine? Twizzlers. I feel like just like I feel like red vines like thirty percent candle wax. Mm. That's about being Twizzlers. Okay, okay, okay. Proper debate. What do we like, Twizzlers or red vines? I see. Thank you. Twizzlers make your mouth happy. Twan said Twizzlers. These things with bling said red vines all day. What are we doing, red vines? Someone said neither. Never heard, who never heard of red vines? Oh my god, y'all make me feel oh. This girl yesterday was serving me a drink. I'm like, can I buy you a drink? Oh my god, I used to watch you in elementary school. Right. You also might get shot in those days. Twizzlers don't have no flavor exactly. Whatever. It got like a mild red, and it's not even like what is the flavor. It's just red. Yes, the flavor is red. Red vines are so yummy. But I also like candy corn, too. And peeps. I like the weird candies that most people don't like. You have to go on 
Amazon to buy some red vines if you can't find them. If I don't know why they don't sell them in a hood near you, but if they don't, go online and get some. You know where you used to be able to find them? Back in the day, I'm going to take y'all back. And this is everybody that's 36 or 37 plus. You used to be able to find them at Blockbusters. Uh, coming out in two and a half, you got Walmart down. You know, go look at your movie. Put you some red lines. Yeah. Cherry and strawberry Twizzlers. It's different flavors at Twizzlers. Yeah, they got strawberry, they got cherry, they got straight up black licorice, and even watermelon. They don't sell red vines in my in the South New Jersey in South Jersey. Go to um, go to um, what you call it to Amazon. I'm sure they sell them for the Lolo. You can get rolling papers on Amazon for Lolo too. You can get hella raw wraps. I'm just saying, if you don't mind waiting and you got a couple of raw wraps to get you through today, then go on Amazon, order a box of raw wraps for a fraction of what you would normally pay for it, and you just get hella raw wraps. No, I do not speak Portuguese. <laughs> I am eating ice like popcorn. Walmart and Target got them. Yes, raw wraps. Go to Amazon. Best deal. Best thing I ever told you today. They have grape and lemon um, Twizzlers now, they said. Grape and lemon? Yep. That lemon sign. That shit weird. What? No, well, my best advice to someone who's trying to make it. My best advice to someone who's trying to make it. Surround yourself with people that support you. Put your middle fingers up to all of the naysayers. And don't stop even when it gets hard. Because it's going to get hard. That's Amazon. Amazon owe me some money for that. Um, you know, yeah. Can I ask you a question for mother? Yeah, so started when to ask me a question from Mother since he got up at the crack of ass and came to work today. Yeah! <laughs> you know you always got to add some extra shit in there. Okay, started. what's your question from God? Question okay, from Mothers. So, so for new mothers that have kids already, like yourself, how do you make the child, the middle child, feel like he's not abandoned or he's not neglected? Well, care I was about to do that at Eva's corner, but I can do some over here. Question starter. Who's a new dad again? He wants to know that moms and asking me as a mom, how do you acclimate and adjust your existing children to the new baby that you just had? Um it's hard. Miss Shani is up for a chance to win up to $1,000. Mm. And I might give you some clues along the way. And this exciting news will be followed by the entire Rick and Molly Morning Show celebrating in a big way the next day. So tune in every day to make sure that you do not That's smart. the fun news. So save money, live better, Walmart. All right, y'all, coming up, y'all, Miss Shani. Okay, so to answer to that, I saw some people say, let the other kids help. So there are a few things you can do, char a starter. One of the things definitely is you de you want to allow the existing older child to help with the new baby. So give them, like, responsibilities. If it's simple as throwing the diaper in the, the trash can. Throwing the diaper in the trash can. Go get the diapers. Go get the wipes. Pass me the cream or put certain things back um pass me the blanket mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. pass me the binky little things that you know won't be too hard for a child to grasp that they can help you assist you with let them do that because a lot of times you're just trying to get it right and trying to get it done efficiently right so you're like kid move i got it mm -hmm. but when you do that you alienate the child and you don't realize how much attention you now giving this new baby 
The new baby get hell of attention. And it's not because you're trying to keep it unbalanced, but you're just trying to be a parent to a newborn. But you don't realize that that same energy you put into this new baby, you still have to give to the old baby. Because at one point he was the new baby or she was the new baby. So it's definitely not the easiest thing, but it's something that I think good parents are conscious about. It's like a dog. Think about it. If you have a dog because you've had for 14 years, right, and then your mom's dogs have puppies and you got one. Yeah. Now you got a new dog in the house. There needs to be ways that you introduce this new dog to the old dog. No, for real. And when I had, I was a dog mom for a long time. Really? Yeah. My, my dog's name is tattooed under my boob. Like, it was my heart. She passed away. I almost wow. died. Like, no, her name is Aida. She was my everything. And I remember when I, I got a new dog named Beastie. And I was, Beastie was from Brooklyn. Oh. And, know. yeah, and Aida was bougie. Is, and when I would read up on it, they said, do not let them meet at home. Introduced them on neutral territory. So I bought the new dog and I went we and go. took them to the park mm. instead of taking them home so they weren't territorial. Right, right. All right, What's going on, Ricky? What's going on, morning show? So look. Oh, Summer Walker has decided to cancel her tour dates due to social anxiety. Now, there are a lot of people who bought this young lady's tickets to her show because she just had a number one album. So yeah. imagine how many of her fans are disappointed. But, you know, I can understand she has been saying that she's been struggling with this social anxiety. And now she decided to back all the way out. I seen a really disturbing performance of her over the weekend. Okay. Her and Usher were on the stage and she was literally she did not move at all. Usher was, you know, being the entertainer that he yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. So it's just really awkward to see, you know, a great like age. stage fright. It's something like that. I, I Some don't really people know. have that thing. There's a lot of artists that have that, and I don't want to like, name them per se, but like mm -hmm. there's some people who are like amazing in one department right. and have a hard time coping with the other component of, you know, being a celebrity and being around people, yeah. especially performing. And sometimes it's nervous energy, like you might sweat or some people might throw up, but you get through the performance, but you're mm -hmm. saying she was just deadlocked. Definitely deadlocked. Um, I know she performed here. It was sometime last year, and she literally sat on the chair and performed. And her her audience was, like, really into it. And I'm like, who just sits down the whole time? Sade. Well, she's not Sade. So, oh. you know. Um, okay, so <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens with her situation. But she made a video and made that huge announcement. Now, <sighs> Trina. A lot of people were taken aback because we love Trina and we hate to see her be mad about anything. I know, you know, her and Brat are close friends and there was a situation that happened at Walmart over the weekend. And here is what happened. Both with TMZ and here is her explanation. Oh, yeah, whoa. A word, B word. Just imagine, you know, being concerned about somebody and they call you the N word, B word. Like, get out of here. You can definitely so, catch them hands. Yeah, right. she was concerned about the lady. So that's just very, like, now I'm going to be apprehensive, you know, checking on other people. I'm just really going to mind my own business if I see somebody crying. Yeah. And Trina was mad, mad. Like, she was yelling, like, she's going to lose her voice. <laughs> exactly <laughs> with a big booty like Trina <laughs> absolutely <laughs> the strip club throwing <laughs> absolutely <laughs> <laughs> alright and you know John Legend 
when I think of John Legend, I think of great voice, not necessarily the sexiest man alive. You know, I don't even think his own wife considers him as the sexiest man alive. Really, she's having fun poking, you know, fun at her own husband. But that's not this award, though, Ricky. No. This award and that and this it's is the brilliant. one time we can be shallow. This is about optics. It's about sexiness, not personality, not philanthropy, not your insides, mm -hmm. your outsides. And they just said that the sexiest man alive has the hips of a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are petty. <laughs> John Legend looks like his name should be the baby. I mean, he has Cause, like because he has that youthful face. Like he looks like a child, like a man child. Yeah, he. I mean, he real thick. Like you know, from the waist down. He's like, yeah, he got curves. He's a Vanguard Award winner, <laughs> not a sexiest man alive. Like he, you know, he does a lot of things, but sexy. Yeah. In other words, it's a no for me, Shawty. So anyway, for all these stories and more. No, mm -mm. no, not at all. No, nah, nah, nah. He j he just don't do it for me, Rick. Uh uh. It's because of what you know, but if you just saw future, you let him uh. hit. You slide in Dave East. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Funky Dineva said that John Legend had the hips of a lesbian. Stupid. Oh, I said, oh my God. You stupid. You out it? As a fox. You better represent. What time? Yeah. <laughs> 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 